I'd always been interested in real estate. Uh, I think I was just looking for a change first and foremost, uh, and then to get into a field that was interesting, uh, that would give me a certain amount of freedom to spend time with my family and go after my personal goals, uh, do the things in life that I want to be able to do. Uh, I decided real estate was the, the best shot I could take at it. I was afforded a great amount of flexibility within the Fast Track Academy. Uh, I was working full time, another job at the time, uh, and uh, often it would be on certain nights that Fast Track Academy was running, but with such great mentors there to support and with other team members who were also working towards becoming a realtor, we were able to meet outside of Fast Track Academy times and brush up together and learn together and then we ended up working together uh, and that ended up uh, helping us build a team that was supportive where, you know, one person's strength, you know, one, one of our team members was really good at staging, another person was really good at, uh, at working with investors, and all of us coming together were able to provide something special for every client that each of us was working with. So we actually even helped one another with one another's clients. It's pretty special. Launching my business was a scary thing up front. I'm just going to be honest, I was a little bit afraid of how it was going to work out. Um, we had, when I finally graduated after FTA, I, uh, I was working full time. Uh, we had just had a baby. He was literally a month old when we, when we got started. And I knew that I had to make sure the money was still coming in. So what was cool about that support from FTA is that with having mentors and having leaders that were invested in my success, I got support in and around my work time. So I was able to juggle the two up front with a specific goal in mind to leave my job and become a full-time real estate agent. We were able to put a plan in place, stick to the plan, and it was ultimately wildly successful. When I first got started in April of the year that I began, I was working another full-time job until September, but still within my first full calendar year from April to the next April, I was able to achieve 19 deals of business, which was all the momentum I needed to get started as a full-time agent. That was more than a lot of, uh, a lot of my competition had been doing as well. Uh, and that's because of the support. Uh, it's because of uh, the family focus mentality. I was basically able to hit the ground running as if I were a wildly experienced agent. All the various pieces of training that we get as a company um, that's available to everybody just to drop in and to learn about uh, a new skill in real estate that maybe they have to work on. Sometimes we'll have uh, trainings on how to run an open house, how to prospect for new business, how to work on getting new, new buyers or new listings, how to work for uh, your listings to get them the best deals, how to negotiate for your buyers to put them in an advantageous situation. And we also focus on things uh, you know, how, how does this work within our market today? Uh, and, and it's not just one person that ends up leading us and teaching us everything. It ends up being a bit of a dialogue amongst all of the agents, uh, people bringing up their own ideas or things that have worked for them or challenges that uh, maybe you, you haven't faced before. One of the things I think is missing for a lot of agents when first getting started out is there's a lot of effort that has to be made to figure out what momentum is. What does it mean to have a, a balanced uh, career where you're working with prospecting and an equal measure working with current clients and equal measure helping people close? And then how do you know how the flow is working throughout the year? How do you avoid going up and down and stay straight and level all year round? That's something that you don't typically get without a number of years of experience. But if you have that mentorship and that, that team leadership behind you that's helping you along the way, again, very hands-on training and wanting to be there with you and create that momentum for you, you can establish uh, a business plan and enact it in your first year, having that support of experienced agents behind you. So instead of having to figure it out on your own and, and figure out what does momentum look like, you can hit the ground running right up front. And then for those that are worried about, oh, well, how do I come across to my clients or potential clients as an experienced agent? Well, when you have those team, that team of experienced agents behind you who are providing you with that support, the quality of the support you're giving is still that of the experienced agents that are behind you. And that is, that's the big difference maker. 